I feel like every time I make a video, it's like three or four days after the other video that I would upload. It's kind of insane to think about how big of a break I did after I was posting tremendously on this YouTube channel. But, you know, you know, good things always have to come to an end, right? Hello, guys. It's Valping Loman, a.k.a. Adam Ernest. Thank you for tuning in to Chapter 4. And if you guys are not new, then you probably know that we are reading Magic Treehouse... Um, night, book 19, Tigers of Twilight. Now, I believe that there's 10 chapters or 11 chapters, not like 20 chapters. I do know that there's 10 or 11 chapters in this book. Chapter 4, Swing Time. Annie grabbed the vine. Jack looked back at the python. The giant snake was still wending its way up the tree. It almost had reached their branch. Jack took a deep breath and he grabbed the vine too. Leaned back like who? Like Caught and Co did, said Annie. Jack and Annie leaned back. One, two, three, go, said Annie. They swung out of the tree. Jack felt his stomach drop. Air rushed by leaves and branches right slapped at him. Suddenly, the forest shook with a great roar. Like a flame, a tiger, like a flame, a tiger leaped up from the bushes. His yellow eyes blazed. His teeth shone like daggers. His claws barely missed Jack and Annie. Ah! They yelled. The tiger crashed back down into the bushes. Jack and Annie swung up into the L Langer's tree. Jack threw one leg around the trunk. He let go of his vine and held on tightly to a branch. Oh man, he said. It, it was. He was in shock. The Langer's patted him as if as if to make sure he was okay. Well, that was fun, said Annie, sitting on a big branch. Fun, are you nuts, said Jack. The screening was fun, said Annie. The, taggers, the tagger was scary. Then, just then, the tree began to shake. Branches snapped below. Oh, no, said Jack. Can taggers climb tree, asked Annie. Probably, said Jack. He hugged the tree and, and squeezed his eyes shut. From below came, a, came loud swongs of chewing, smacking and crunching. Teddy growled. Jack groaned. Now the tiger's eating the tr eating a tree, he said. And he burst into laughter. Cut and co whooped as if they were laughing too. Arf, arf, barked Teddy. What, said Jack, opening his eyes. Look, and he pointed at the twilight. A thick gray tube was waving in the air. Another snake, said Jack, horrified. No, an elephant trunk, said Annie. The trunk wiggled near Jack and Annie, as if it was sniffing them. Then it fa then it picked leaves from the tree and disappeared. Let's go see, said Annie. But Teddy still in his backpack, J Jack followed Annie down to a lower branch. They peered out of the twilight forest into the gray gloom. They saw a herd of elephants. One stood beneath their tree, eating leaves. Another munched grass. Hey, I got a really cool idea, said Annie. That is it for chapter four. Holy crap. That was like quick. Wow. I did not even know that it's going to be that fast. Well, you know, wait, I think there's, yeah, ten chapters. So we are on chapter five now. I believe... We are on chapter, yeah, we are on chapter 5 now. So I'll see you all on chapter 5 today.